Hi everybody, this is Linda, and welcome back to Hands That Cook. Now, uh, about a week ago, my friends at Kasari sent me this multi-cooker. And I've washed it and put it all back together. And it comes fully assembled except for this ridge, the, the rubber gasket that that seals everything in there and it just it has a little lip inside that just fits right over the edge of the of the glass top and <clears throat> there's the bottom side has an indention and that's what this side fits up against the actual cooker that's the only thing you have to put on there and it's so easy and then it came with this um, steamer rack that has a height to it and I really like that because you can do other things put other things on this rack that you don't want to touch the actual bottom of the cooker which is nice nice very nice and I wanted to show you a few I'm going to take this out I want to show you a few of these features excuse the noise I'm going to plug it in. And I'm going to make something today with it because uh, because I think you'll want to see it. Uh-oh. It has a short cord and I think that's for um, you know safety reasons. But one of the things I really like about it I'm going to get down here, is that it lights up. So right now it's on, it's on off. But it has a lot of features, a lot of features. Um, what? I mean, I want to get it up here so you can see it. Well, I'm having trouble with my electrical socket, and I don't know why. Let me see if I can get over here to it so I can show you better. Um, the features on this, because they light up, you don't have any, um, you don't have any guesswork. Like right now, let me take this off the stand. Right now, I've got it on, where is the light? Oven, because it's lit up, see? So it works as an oven, it'll bake. And of course it does all the things the other ones do. It has a slow cook function. And the slow cook function, um, it tells you, I wish I'm going to try to do this right handed, slow cook, it's either low, medium, or high. And then you go to oven or roast, and bake. Now roast and bake will work the same way. But you come down here, it steams. It sautés, it simmers, it browns, and that's uh, the stove top. Then it'll boil. It has a yogurt function, a rice function, a manual function, and then of course the off. Now over here on the right hand side is the timer. Now what I like about this, you see it's lit. The um, It has also a keep warm function and a delay timer if you don't want things to start right away. Now the time and temperature, I'm going to push that and it toggles. See, it's it's 
flashing off and on. So if you if you want to set the temperature, you push it once. It's blinking. So I'm having a terrible time with it. So you just I want this at 150 because this is how we're going to cook our cheesecake. 150, 150. Now I'm going to push it again. And it has reverted to 30 minutes, the cook time. But we don't want 30 minutes, I only want 15. So you see how simple this is? Now to start it, you come over here to the start cancel button and you push start and then it'll start heating up. Okay? So that's how simple, how very simple this is. I just love it. I love that it heats up. It's a great size. <clears throat> it's real um, sleek looking. You know, it, it just has a sleek look about it. And of course it's uh, a stainless steel and black. I like that. Goes with anything. In any case, I'm going to start. I'm going to show you how to start a cheesecake in here. And when I get this set up again, um, I'll bring you back. Alright. I've got the steamer rack in here because I'm going to use it. And this is a 6 inch springform pan. And this is going to go on top of it when we get it filled, okay? It's been washed and all of that. And in the meantime, what I'm going to put down on the bottom against the uh, floor of the um, cooker is one cup of water. One cup of water. And then to make the crust for this, it has a recipe book. I didn't tell you that. It's got a book. <clears throat> I'm going to get it for you. It has a book that has breakfast, lunch, and dinner in it and desserts. And I am making this New York cheesecake but it has all kinds of recipes for you. If, of course, slow cook, it also has uh, in the front, at cooking times and temperatures. Uh, it gives you information on how to slow cook and roast. It has tips and tricks. It, anything that you ha might have a question on is in this book. So we're making this. This is the the uh, cheesecake I'm making and I was quite surprised at the directions but it said now for the topping it says use four whole graham crackers and I assume that this is a whole graham cracker and I'm gonna put it in my in my mini chopper because they've got to be chopped up fine so that I just showed you three but we're gonna do four and I'm going to put these in along with two tablespoons of dark brown sugar and two tablespoons of melted butter and then I'll bring you back. Well I crushed up my brown sugar and um, graham crackers together so they would be mixed well and then I added the a two tablespoon of melted butter and got it uh, to the consistency they say like wet sand. Now all I'm going to do now is pour this into the bottom of the um, six inch spring form pan and I'm going to work this across the bottom and up the sides 
as far as it will comfortably go. I'm not going to try to force it to go any higher than, than it wants to. All right, and then um, um, you know how to do this, so I'll bring you back when I get to the next step. And and meanwhile, I want to tell you that the time and temperature, the, that light is going to keep blinking until you hit the start button. When it starts heating, it'll stop blinking. Very simple to use. Very reasonably priced. A great look. A good size. And look at all the things it'll do. I mean, uh, uh, all multi-cookers slow cook and and they probably will do some of the things that this this one does but this has an actual um, um, it has an actual setting for them so I'm gonna get busy on this and then we'll be back alright here it is I mashed it in so that it would be you know hardened in here and now this goes into the freezer for an hour so it'll set real good then we'll go to the next step now we're going to do the filling for this cheesecake and I've already mixed together an 8 ounce brick of cr full cream cheese don't expect a good tasting cheesecake if you use low fat or no fat one full brick room temperature and uh, let's see what else I put in here quarter of a cup of sour cream which is also room temperature and I beat that together I got them together now I'm going to add in let's see A third of a cup of white sugar. A room temperature egg. Goodness, I don't know what I got on my hand. A tablespoon of cornstarch, teaspoon of vanilla, and this is um supposed to be an eighth of a teaspoon of lemon zest and I overdid it and a, and a teaspoon of um, lemon juice and I used fresh lemon get that off of there so I'm gonna try to separate the two here because I don't want to OD on the lemon zest maybe that much all right and I've got my teaspoon of lemon juice mixed in here and it calls for a pinch of sea salt which I don't have so we're just going to use regular salt a pinch pan has been in the freezer for an hour and I'm going to get all this mixed together 
Then we're going to fill up that pan. When I get it in the pan, we'll be back. All right. I have preheat. I'm preheating my um, multi-function oven here. It didn't say to in the directions, but I've never made a cheesecake that I didn't preheat, so I'm going to do that. And here's my little um, cheesecake crust that I've had in the refrigerator for an hour. I actually had it in a little over an hour because I was busy doing something else. <clears throat> but I've left it out about a half an hour so hoping that that's going to bring it up to what it's supposed to be to be baked. So I'm getting this all. You can't see me. I'm sorry. Putting this all in my springform pan. And the recipe actually called for a five inch springform pan. I didn't have one. So this isn't going to be as high as it would had I had the right size. But that's okay. Still a cheesecake. And um, along with the recipe book, they send you um, an instruction book, which is how I learned how everything worked. It, it's simple. And um, and not, not hard to understand. So, um, I'm going to finish spreading this out over the crust, which I probably could have um, gotten up higher, but I didn't use a glass or anything. I just used my knuckles to um, spin it, get it spun, uh, down, up the sides. So, here we go. tapping that it says to cover it so by George that's what I'm doing covering my pan now I hope this isn't a misprint for the recipe I didn't call to find out but we'll we'll know um, this is supposed to bake it said 15 minutes at 350. So we're baking it for 15 minutes at 350. I'm going to take it out, let it cool just a short, short while, and then it's going in the refrigerator for four hours. And we'll have Sam here to test it for us. And he actually has a joke today. So we'll be back then. I wanted to tell you that I figured out why the directions say bake 15 minutes. I was afraid it was an error, but it wasn't. What you do is you put your, cheese, your wrapped cheesecake batter in there while it's cold, while the whole thing's cold, and put the lid on. And then you set your time, your uh, temperature to 350 and your timer for 15 minutes. Well, the temperature gauge, which is, see if I can scoot down there. Maybe not. This right here, it's going to spin and spin and spin until it reaches 350 degrees. Well, that whole time, the uh, the inside of this is heating up and steaming. 
So that's part of the cooking time, but they don't put it in the end of the recipe because the timer won't start timing down, going down in time until it reaches 350 degrees. Well, now this thing is pretty darn hot. I turned it off and uh, I'm going to take it out, put it in the fridge after just a little bit. I'm going to let it cool slightly. And then in four hours, it said chill at least four hours. Then we'll bring Sam back in. We're back. Here's our lovely little cheesecake. Sam sitting here. He said he didn't want a big piece, so we're just going to cut him a slice. One thing I want to tell y'all is when it says to cover it with aluminum foil. <coughs> I'm sorry, we just sprayed in here. There were ants everywhere. It doesn't mean from just the top down, which is what I did. Is that? That's fine. No okay. I covered it from just the top down, but what you really need to do is uh, cover the entire, the entire uh, cheesecake starting at the bottom and coming around. This is a little bit of strawberry spread I'm going to put on here. But the cheesecake turned out perfect. There's some walnuts. <coughs> I am so sorry. Here you go. Let me turn this around. Give it to Sam. Yeah, I'd like to eat the whole cheesecake, but I'm a diabetic. I have to kind of watch sweets. Let's see what we have here. Goodness, that is good. It's not, <coughs> it's not good, it's delicious. Rich and creamy, not too sweet. Mmm. It's delicious. Well, like I said, I knew y'all were tired of watching people do chicken and stews and all of that in a multi-cooker. So, <coughs> they had quite a few desserts in there. I'm so sorry, this ant spray is just killing me. Well, it's delicious. It is that. Y'all love this. I see. Is it? Mmm. So I fixed a cheesecake to see if it would work. And it did. Almost, almost so good it's indescribable. That's the truth. Really? Yes, really. Good. I don't know enough adjectives to describe it. Yeah, y'all love this. What else have you got <coughs> for us, Sam? I am so sorry, y'all. Well, I wanted to tell them a little golf story. Now, you know, you know I used to play golf. I used to shoot in the low to mid-60s. I wouldn't play when it was much warmer than that. <laughs> and anyway... There was this golfer, and he hit a new ball into the lake. All right. And then he hit a new ball out of bounds that hit on the highway. Okay, then he hit a new ball into the woods. 
his caddy said, well, why don't you use an old ball? The old golfer got a sad look on his face. He said, I don't ever have any old balls. <laughs> so evidently he just lost them all. But that's about all. This, this cheesecake is fabulous, y'all. Sam, I'm glad you enjoyed I can hardly talk. Well, you'll get better. I'll put a link to the Kasari uh, multi-cooker down below this video. And like I said, it's got a fabulous um, instruction book that's not hard to understand at all. Uh, plus... Um, the recipe book and another separate little paper that's got a thank you and the number to get in touch with them if you have any problems. But I'm totally impressed with this cheesecake as soon as I find it again. There it is. Look at that. Thank y'all for coming in and spending part of your day with me. <coughs> Please subscribe if you haven't and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Until next time, you all take care and God bless every one of you.